What's going on guys, Sidon here bringing you my first gameplay commentary. It is going to be a review of Black Ops 3 on the PC and we're going to go over a list of pros and cons and see if it's worth your money in its current state. So here we go. First off on the list, uh, we're going to go with it feels more like Call of Duty compared to Advanced Warfare. Advanced Warfare, you could easily escape uh, gunfights and kill streaks with the, the really fast boost jumping and double jumping. Uh, the map flow wasn't very good in, uh, in Advanced Warfare because you can get across the map so, so quickly. I mean, you can get across the map relatively quickly in Black Ops 3, but it is nowhere near what you could do in Advanced Warfare. Uh, secondly, uh, it's more boots on the ground. It feels more like Black Ops 2 than it did uh, Advanced Warfare. You're going to be spending most of your time on the ground instead of in the air like in Advanced Warfare. I know very few people, at least on the PC, that actually enjoyed Advanced Warfare. It, it seemed like it was more catered to... I hate the word use the word noobs but I mean it was really catered to them because it allowed them to escape gunfights and get easy kills with the uh, the double jumping the boost jumping whatever you want to call it uh, and Black Ops 3 the the gun balance is relatively good I mean I mostly play hardcore as you're seeing in this gameplay here uh, and pretty much every gun is balanced in hardcore so uh, you're not gonna run into too many balance issues on hardcore but uh, from what I've played in core, I, I do play core every now and then, uh, it, it seems relatively good. I mean, some of the uh, the weapons could use a slight buff, like the, the Weevil could use a slight damage buff to put it more in line with, uh, say, the Vesper or the, uh, the VMP, or even the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh melts people quick. Uh, I don't really like that gun because it's for whatever reason and I just I'm not good at running and gunning with uh with burst fire weapons. Uh, when I have a burst fire weapon I tend to camp a lot more because it's just harder for me to use. Uh, thirdly or sorry, fourth, uh we've got the map flow feels very good. I mean it's it's more like Black Ops two with the, the three lane thing. You're not you're not boost jumping like across uh, high platforms like you were in Advanced Warfare, at least not as much as you were in Advanced Warfare. The three lane thing works for Black Ops three is well, at least on PC, because you don't have the uh, the player run dedicated servers that give you the ability to have like you know 48 or 64 man servers like you could with COD4. So I mean, having three lanes really balances out each map. Some maps it works better than others. I mean, some maps are more AR dominated, like uh, like this map Havoc, although. In hardcore, it's a lot easier to run with a uh, an SMG and kill people at a little bit longer ranges and win those gunfights. Uh, specialists for fifth uh, give you a reason to go beyond the first prestige. I know you can, you know, get to level 55 and then just start grinding out your uh, your specialists and not have to prestige at all, but. If you really want those extra class slots, you're not just going through a mindless grind of, you know, hey, let, let's just jump into a game and go at it. You have the ability to switch your specialists up and unlock more uh, cosmetic gear for them and use different uh, abilities or weapons with those specialists. So it, it breaks up the monotony of just grinding towards, you know, the the master prestige like it was in, uh, in Black Ops 2. And apparently, according to David Vondahar, uh, one of his tweets uh, saying that they have plans for leveling up beyond what Master Prestige is. I don't know if this means, like, they're going to do what Advanced Warfare did and have, like, 15 more Prestiges or whatever, which was insane. But, uh, but yeah, uh, there's a little funny clip of me getting owned by Hellstorm. But, uh... Oh, and finally, you can actually tell when people are dead. I don't know how many times I died in Advanced Warfare to people prone on the ground because they they were almost indistinguishable from dead players. I mean, I probably died hundreds of times to people lying down next to dead bodies, not inside of them, but next to them, because 
whatever for whatever reason the the rag doll or whatever it it made everyone look the same when they were laying on the ground now as far as cons go this is going to be a slightly longer list uh as far as hardcore goes and and you know i'm gonna keep saying this I, i'm a hardcore player uh, I don't really play a lot of core, but uh, the gun balance as far as the snipers versus like a DRM, there is, I mean, there's no real reason to, uh, to run a sniper in hardcore when you can just use a gun like the Shiva that has a slightly faster fire rate and a much better ADS time. And here's going to be the lag right there. <laughs> uh, the lag on PC is really, really bad. I mean... The hit, the hit detection and the connection on PC is just horrible compared to what it was in Black Ops 2. I mean, for the most part, as you saw on that, when I brought up the, uh, the leaderboard list there, that the pings are relatively good, but the connection to the server is relatively bad. For whatever reason, I don't know if this is something they can patch or... What I don't rem I didn't get Black Ops 2 right when it came out. I think I got it in like January or February uh, of 2012 for the PC, and I didn't really have that many connection issues with it. Uh, the hit detection seemed crisp. I mean, I even went back to Black Ops 2 and played some core hardpoint, and I went like 37 and 6. I mean, the hit detection felt crisp. The connection felt crisp. It just doesn't right now in Black Ops 3. It's pretty laggy. Uh, there's no player-run dedicated servers on PC. PC needs this. I, I mean, we're going to be getting uh, custom servers, I believe, in March, but that doesn't mean player-run dedicated servers. That just means a server browser that connects to the official, you know, Treyarch servers or Steam servers or whatever they use, but it's not going to be like it was in, you know, COD4. I think Advanced, or not Advanced Warfare, but World at War also had uh, a server browser, but I don't think it was like uh, what COD 4 had. And PC needs this. PC players love being on dedicated servers that are player run because you can have uh, different types of, of servers running different types of game modes. With the, uh, you know, the official uh, Treyarch servers, you're not, you're not going to be allowed to, you know, custom fit game types like you were in at least in COD4 except uh, we're getting the mod tools and supposedly we're gonna be able to create our own game types and mods but that doesn't the alpha doesn't come out till March it's not even gonna be you know fully up and running in March we're just gonna get the alpha so who knows when you know it's actually gonna go live and given how many players are playing on the PC right now this is something that the PC needs right now I mean I believe the uh, the average according to the uh, the Steam church is like 16,000 people online during peak times and compared to console I mean it's not even a comparison I realize that consoles are a bit more accessible the, the price point you know is a bit more forgiving uh, when you don't take into the uh, into account the cost of like Xbox Live because if you were to take that into account it's basically the same cost as a PC or a decent you know gaming PC which is around you know seven to eight hundred dollars because if you're if you're on a console you're gonna spend around you know three to four hundred dollars on the console and then if you're into online gaming you're gonna spend you know an additional 400 plus dollars over the lifetime of that console just to be able to play online uh, there seems to be I wouldn't say a lot of hackers on PC but there's definitely you know a group of them and given how low the population is on PC it seems like they're everywhere in comparison to something like you know Xbox or PlayStation where you know, you're dealing with a population in potentially, you know, the hundreds of thousands. So the the hacker population seems to be a lot lower given, you know, the ratio of hackers to, you know, the actual player base. So, I mean, I made a video on this. I hope Treyarch saw it. 
Uh, I don't know if they banned that guy or not. I really hope they did because he was using some blatant wall hacks, but they need to take a, uh, a much stronger stance against uh, hackers on PC because that's another reason that I hear all the time on, uh, on why people don't want to play the, the PC version of this, you know, of Black Ops 3. And another thing is you get access to the best guns in the game way too early. This I know this makes it a bit more noob friendly because they're, you're not getting owned by people that are, you know, top level already and have the best guns. But I mean, they they need to space them out a little bit so you don't have access to the the strongest SMG, which in my opinion is the VMP, at like freaking level 10 or something like that. It's insane. And you know the the KN44 is one of the better assault rifles. It's not the the best assault rifle. I like the HVK30, uh, but I mean you get access to them way too quickly. And lastly, I'm gonna post a. Uh, a little video at the end of this about the score streaks. Score streaks, even with the buff that came out, I believe it was uh, last Thursday or Friday or something like that. Even with that buff, these score streaks are way too either uh, easily either avoided or taken out. The launchers in this game need to be nerfed like hardcore. I mean, in Black Ops 2, you had access to three launchers, two. Uh, Two of them you can fire, you know, free mode at, you know, either players or score streaks, or and then you had the uh, the lock on one. And for whatever reason in this game, people are using those launchers more so than I'd ever seen in Black Ops 2. And I mean, the Black Cell launcher, you get four missiles with the Black Cell uh, Black Cell launcher. That is insane, given how easy it is to take out these score streaks. I mean, you, you look at the the raps, I'm going to be, uh, hopefully you're seeing the video now. I call on a raps in hardcore, and it literally gets taken out within probably 8 seconds of me calling it in. That is insane. It's a 1,300 uh, score streak. You have to get 1,300 points, you know, in order to get it, and it can be taken out in less than, you know, 7 seconds by someone with a black cell launcher or, you know, the entire team running the launchers. I believe a good balance would be having the first launcher only having one rocket. I know, I know some people may be upset about that, but you can take out a UAV with one rocket, you can take out a counter UAV with one rocket, you can kill a player with one rocket if you, you know, hit them well enough. The black cell should be uh, taken down from four to, to two. Because having four missiles in a lock-on launcher, with given how easy it is to take out these score streaks, is just insane. I mean, and the uh, you know that goes for the hater too. The hater doesn't show up in uh, in hardcore unless you have a UAV up at the same time. And you, given that everyone's using these launchers, those UAVs are taken out almost instantaneously unless you're you know in a god lobby and no one's running launchers, which is extremely you know extremely rare that you run into a lobby with no one running any launchers in in core it doesn't matter because you always have that mini map up there so when you call on the hater there's there's nothing you can do about it until you shoot it down which you know someone with a black cell launcher will take it out in five seconds but i mean in hardcore it needs to act like the vsat from black ops 2 it needs to bring up the mini map and show the red triangles and the hellstorm the Hellstorm, even though it got a slight buff in the last update, that needs to be buffed as well. I'd rather have it cost more and act like it did in the beta, where it was a really good solid score streak, than have what we have now. But as far as should you get Black Ops 3 on the PC as it is right now on December 14th, 2015, I can't really recommend it. I mean, it's in my best interest to recommend this game to other PC players that want to potentially uh, buy this game because it would just mean more players and more games I'm able to get into. But I can't, of good conscience, recommend you know buying this game right now as it is. I mean, some patches in the future could fix this, and it could be as crisp as Black Ops 2, but right now it's just not the case.
All right, guys, don't forget to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe for more. And I'll try to upload a bit more. I haven't been feeling that well uh, in the past week. I'll try to put out a video like uh, every other day, depending on how I'm feeling and how the games go on PC because the lag is pretty bad. All right, guys, have a good day. Peace.